Welcome to day 13 of the 100 days of Swift. At this point, you now have a working knowledge of all the fundamentals of Swift programming. So I want to congratulate you on making it this far. Now, there are almost certainly some things you don't understand fully, or perhaps you're not sure how they could be useful in practice. Closures and optionals are the usual things people struggle with. But don't worry, my teaching method has been refined over years of feedback from students just like you. As a result, this course has been designed to help you learn in the smartest way possible. You've already met two of my techniques. Short, sharp videos that teach individual topics and tests that check you've understood what was said. You've probably noticed some of my tests are a bit sneaky. I miss out parameter names, forget return statements, and so on. And this is not because I'm some sort of evil teacher and want you to suffer, but instead, it's a simple technique that forces you to read the code very carefully each time, to pay attention to what it says rather than just guessing. And when you do that, when you really start reading code, all the techniques you've learned will sink in deeper without you even realizing. Now it's time for you to meet a third technique, consolidation days. Today is day 13, and it's the first of three days where we'll be reviewing what you learned so far. That means we're gonna go right back to the beginning with variables and loops, working through functions, instructs and closures and optionals all over again. Now, some people don't like consolidation days. They wanna charge ahead with new things, but please listen carefully. This stuff really matters. Consolidation days serve four purposes. First, I'll be showing you all the same techniques in a slightly different way. The videos are longer and slower, give me more time to explain what's going on. This will also start easing you into the longer iOS projects we'll start covering from day 16. Second, there are almost certainly some things you've forgotten either completely or partly that you learned a few days ago. And these consolidation days will help you fill those gaps. A lot of my methods based on a learning technique called the spaced repetition system, where we return the topic over increasing amounts of time to help it really sink into your long-term memory. Third, some things you learned earlier in the first 12 days will make more sense to you now you've gone further in the course. That additional context will help connect dots in your understanding. For example, previously I showed you the first index of method of arrays, which finds an item in an array. Well, what happens if the item you're looking for doesn't exist in the array? What should Swift return? Now you've met optionals, you can understand the answer. Index of returns an optional integer with the item's array position if it exists or nil otherwise. Finally, there are things you take for granted now that would have been incomprehensible to you previously. These consolidation days will really help show you how far you've come in the previous 12 days, and I think will be a real encouragement. So I hope you can understand the importance of these consolidation days, just three of them. Take the time to review what you've learned, because from day 16 onwards, we're looking at building real iOS apps using all the Swift you've learned so far.